What's going on, Bulls fans? Welcome into the Bulls Report by Chat Sports. We've got an interesting show coming your guys' way today. As Zach Levine addressed the recent trade rumors uh, that were going on this offseason, we got some interesting quotes that we'll get into from that standpoint as the trade could be potentially dead around number eight. And then also the Bulls had their first preseason game versus the Milwaukee Bucks yesterday. So I'm just going to go into some overall takeaways from the matchup. Obviously, it's preseason. NBA preseason doesn't really, you know, you're not getting the best quality of basketball. I mean, shoot, even NBA regular season nowadays, you're not getting the best quality of basketball. But I'm going to go over some takeaways I had from the Bucks game, just normally talking about the Bulls' philosophy, I think may have changed uh, offensively for this season. But speaking about the Bulls' preseason, we're going to have a watch party this Thursday. If you guys don't know what they are, I'll be going live here on the channel, giving play-by-play, -play, giving some takeaways from the matchup so make sure you guys subscribe to our channel here make sure you lock us in turn on those notifications hey maybe we could pick up 20 new subscribers on today's video that would make my day but yeah make sure you guys tune in watch party this thursday subscribe so you don't miss out but zach levine after the preseason game yesterday um he was asked about obviously the trade rumors being floated around around his name this off season, and somebody asked him just kind of saying like, "Hey, was your camp like you know putting them out and everything?" But he had this to say. He said, "My camp isn't putting them out. I committed to the Bulls when I signed my five-year deal. So until I'm not, I'm committed to the Bulls. I've always brought professionalism and consistent play, and that's what I'll continue to do." And I love hearing that out of Levine. Obviously, your star player, you want him to address the media in that way. But I will say, <clears throat> the trade deadline will be interesting. Because, you know, I've been saying it here on the channel for a while. Like, let's just say a hypothetical situation. The Bulls are five games below 500. Trade deadline rolls around, and clearly this big three nucleus of Levine, DeRozan, and Vooch just doesn't really work out. I think the Bulls would definitely be taking calls on Levine because, yeah, I would love to keep Levine, but you would get the most value back uh, for him out compared to any other player on this Bulls roster. So the trade deadline is going to be interesting. The first half of this season is incredibly important for this Bulls team. So, again, even though he's shutting it down, just keep your eyes on it. But then he also had this to say about Chicago, which I thought was pretty cool. He said, I love Chicago. I've always wanted to be in a place that wanted me. And Chicago has shown me that. But obviously trade rumors are a part of the business. Are they wanted? No. But I'm a grown man. I've always I've been traded before. I know how to deal with them. You have to take it that way. It's a business. So I don't get too upset. And overall, I do want to keep Zach Levine, even if we would have to shift to a rebuild. I would rather have them move off Vooch, move off DeRozan, see what you can get for even like a guy like Caruso, like trade a couple of the role players, maybe Andre Drummond. You can maybe get, you know, some sort of asset back from. But, you know, if the Bulls were have to clean house, I would kind of want them to build around Kobe, Io, Levine, and Patrick Williams, get some different players around them. Because I do think that is like the... You know, even though Levine isn't necessarily young anymore, he's actually going into his 10th season, which I can't believe uh, that at all. But I think you have a nucleus there that you could build around potentially. I would want to keep Levine, but obviously he has the most trade value out of any asset on this team. So trade deadline is going to be interesting, but Levine kind of shut down the trade rumors, which I love to see. But I want you guys to predict it for me down in the comments section. Will Zach Levine finish the season as a Chicago Bull. Give me a Y for yes or an N for no. I'm going to make this the pinned comment on today's video. So if YouTube hits an ad break, your way. Sit back, let it play. Answer today's pinned comment of Will Zach Levine finish the season as a Chicago Bull. Coming up next year, we are going to be diving into some of the top takeaways from the Bucks Bulls first preseason game. Obviously, it's the preseason. Giannis and Dame did not play for Milwaukee. They actually didn't really play any of their guys. But I'm just going to go over some overarching takeaways around the Bulls' philosophy mainly. But first, I do want to give a huge shout-out to Prize Picks. I'm super excited to bring on Prize Picks here as our new sponsor at the Bulls Report. Prize Picks is the largest independently owned daily fantasy sports platform in North America. And it is the easiest and most exciting way to play DFS. It is just you against the numbers. Go to prizepicks.com and use code CLNS for a deposit match up to $100. Instead of battling versus thousands of players, including pros and sharks, you just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and place your entry. Quick withdrawals, easy game plan, and enormous selection of players and stat types are what makes Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. And you guys can actually make some plays for this upcoming season for the Chicago Bulls. They have Levine's projected points per game at 25.1. I'm going more, I'm taking the lower or less on DeMar DeRozan. Then I'm also going to take more on Nikola Vucevic, 10.9 rebounds per game. You guys can get hooked up with them and uh, ride my picks or fade my picks by going to prizefix.com slash CLNS and use code 
CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. It makes watching the game so much more enjoyable. So make sure you guys get hooked up today at prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use that code CLNS. Number one takeaway for me coming from the Bucks game, uh, Kobe White, he was the starting point guard for the Bulls. Obviously, we had a bunch of debate going on this offseason about Kobe White versus Javon Carter. And I will say, I was in the camp that Javon Carter should get the starting point guard spot. I think I'm against that now. Uh, Kobe White played great yesterday. He had 14 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists, and was efficient from the field as well. And I think maybe Kobe White is taking a little step up here. He looked more controlled in his game. Like, we always talk about the hills and valleys with Kobe White's game, where he's incredibly inconsistent offensive player he looked very in control he was getting to a spot well initiating the offense well in certain spots too so I'm overall a fan of Kobe White hey I think he should be the starting point guard for this Bulls team first game during the regular season obviously he can switch but my dream lineup would be Kobe White Levine DeRozan P-Dub and Nikola Vucevic but talking about Patrick Williams he passes the eye test once again. Uh, my big thing in the NBA is eyes don't lie, and especially Patrick Williams. Like, I can see the talent. The talent is clearly there, and he showed it yesterday. He ended up having 13 points, two rebounds, one assist. He was three of six from downtown. And the thing I love about him the most is, like, the number one area of concern for him coming out of college was that three-point shooting ability. He's improved it every year of his NBA career, shooting 40% plus during his career uh, right now from downtown, but he's long, he moves well, his handle's gotten tighter. I see the Kawhi Leonard comparisons. I just want him to get more shot attempts, up that usage rate, and I think he could really take that next step. But he passed eye test yesterday versus the Bucks. But yeah, I love P-Dub, love what he's done uh, to his game so far. Number three for me is uh, it's just a different Bulls offense. Like, listen, the Bulls were 22nd in points per game last season, but they're fourth in overall field goal percentage. What does that mean? You're not shooting enough threes. And the Bulls yesterday, they shot 12 threes in the first quarter. They shot 35 overall for the game. It's a completely different Bulls philosophy of what they're trying to do here. They brought in some players this offseason that get up a ton of three-point attempts, and that's what the Bulls are going to do. They're going to shoot more threes. They need to because this offense is not good enough to just go DeRozan mid-range. Vooch post up. Levine iso. Levine high pick and roll. Kobe White high pick and roll. Get the ball moving more offensively. You're going to get more open looks. You're going to shoot more threes. And overall, you're going to score more points. Because you can't be top five in field goal, field goal percentage, but be bottom ten in points per game. Math doesn't really add up. Shoot more threes. Points per game will go up. Number four for me were the two additions this offseason. Torrey Craig and uh, Javon Carter impressed me a lot. And listen, they didn't blow you away from the stat sheet wise. But listen, I think overall, they're great glue guys. Like, they are great dudes that get you better on the margins here. They're great defenders as well. They do all the little things, diving for loose balls, especially Torrey Craig. You know, in terms of, like, hierarchy of role players in the NBA, I think he should be in that upper echelon. He, he really impressed me yesterday. Um, so I'm a big fan of his game. I think they're going to be huge kind of, you know, key glue guys for this team. If the Bulls do want to make a run this year, guys like that help a lot. Obviously, this is a superstar-driven league, but you're going to need some complementary pieces around Levine, DeRozan, and Vooch. I think these guys are great pickups. Shout out to AKME uh, for getting it done. So, love the pickup of Torrey Craig and uh, Javon Carter so far. Number five for me, uh, Levine could have gotten better. And, listen, he didn't, like, he didn't blow you away with the statue. Obviously, he only played about 15 minutes yesterday, had nine points, two rebounds, two assists, but... You know, my eyes with Levine, like, I just feel like he's a lot more controlled in his offensive game. He's a lot smoother. He's kind of playing at his own pace a little bit. And I thought his jump shot looked really, really good. Obviously, Levine is one of the best jumpers in the league. He's a big, if I just get to my release, that's all that matters. And uh, he was doing that yesterday. Uh, I'm excited to see what Levine can do. Honestly, like, Levine and DeRozan split about the same shot attempts per game last year. I think Levine should be at least getting four plus more than him because he is the best offensive player by far on this basketball team. I think he's a true second option on a championship team. So you're going to see this year if he can be that number one option for the Bulls, see if he can get them over the hump. But Levine looked good yesterday. I think he could even have gotten better going into his 10th year. This is his prime. He's seen every look defensively that you could throw at him in the NBA. He's just going to continue to grow. He impressed me a lot yesterday. Definitely passed the eye test. Uh, for me as well. But I want you guys to predict the Bulls record this season. Obviously, we watched the game yesterday. Let me know what you guys think. Predict the Bulls record this season. I think they're going to be around 500 if they keep anybody. So that's why I'm going to go like 41 and 41. But hey, maybe you disagree with me. Maybe you think they're going to be better. Maybe you think they're going to be worse. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. Or you guys can scream at me on Twitter. Whatever you guys want to do. At Pat Seeps is the Twitter handle. I'll put that link for you guys in the comment section and description of today's show. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
Bulls, Bucks, went over their first preseason game. Also went over the Zach Levine trade rumors. Make sure you guys are subscribed, though. Watch party this Thursday. See you guys next time. Go Bulls.